this is something that the families des deserve to know. Uh, this information, it's been a decade, that, over a decade, 13 years since this event happened. And we've had a narrative in the media and in the press and in the collective American conscience of what happened that day, but I don't think it's fully informed and it won't be fully informed until everybody gets to see these 28 pages. And just to echo what Congressman Lynch said, I'm here for the families, but I'm also here for our country to look forward. We have to decide how to prevent another 9-11 type event from happening. Until you have the, the full picture of what actually happened, the intelligence picture, how can you participate in that debate? How can we know that what we do will prevent another 9-11 from happening? And how can we know that some of the things that maybe we would otherwise endeavor to do might be overreactions? So, uh, also, I want to talk about the experience of sitting down and reading these 28 pages. Uh, it's in a room where it's soundproof and you're escorted in there and you're escorted out and there are no notes. Uh, but this is something that's sort of shocking when you read it. As I read it, we all had our own experience, I had to stop every couple pages and just sort of absorb and try to rearrange my understanding of history for the past uh, 13 years and the years leading up to that, it, it challenges you to rethink everything. And so uh, I think the whole country needs to go through that. It's going to be difficult and it could be embarrassing. But that is no reason to keep the truth from the American people. I want to uh, finish with two challenges. I want to challenge all the congressmen who have not read these 28 pages, who have the ability to go read these 28 pages, to do it for your constituents. There are 435 districts in this country. Every congressman needs to see these 28 pages. And then I challenge them to co-sponsor Congressman Jones and Congressman Lynch's bill like I have. And finally, the final challenge I want to issue is to those who would keep these pages secret. You need to have your own press conference. You need to be held uh, to a standard to answer the questions, why do you want to keep these 28 pages secret? In my estimation, as shocking as the 28 pages are, and as much as they sort of rearrange my understanding of what happened, I don't think it would hurt our national security to release this, and it would give families uh, the answers they deserve as well. Thank you very much.